The referee checking with both linesmen. England in the half to our right, defending that half. Peter Beardsley will be the first player to touch the ball. And how he, a little man too, has grown in stature during the course of this tournament. So England against Argentina for a place in the semi-finals. Teddy Stenson and Diego Maradona came immediately to him. And the last time those two met, Stenson brought down Maradona. Passarena scored from the penalty spot. But England won the match 3-1. That was the last meeting between the two in May 1980 at Wembley. And Beardsley followed by two. Hodge with right from the word go. Stenson. And the free kick given against Enrique and quickly taken to Peter Reed. Pachufo. So it's the corner but not the throw. Peter Reed, who has been troubled by a left, uh, by right, as it were, a right ankle injury. But he said yesterday there was no way he was going to miss this one. Bit of push and shove, but Butcher got the back header. But the referee had given the free kick for the first push on uh, Jose Luis Brown. Very un Argentine name. Family on uh, his mother's side originally came from Ireland. First run, two marks, the tackle was clean and came from Hodge. Brown and Maradona and Valdano forming a front two. Ruggeri. Giusti. Maradona. Butcher came to him. Hodge into the center circle to get the header in. Gary Stevens. Tense opening moments. contest for which the prize is so high. Batista for Argentina. And uh, Maradona made rather more of that than there was. And Trevor Stephen came rather the worse for wear out of it. Just got a knock on the ankle, but I don't think it's serious. Now that he's adjusted his boot, he seems quite happy. Chaga, who wears number seven, is in the centre forward position at the moment, and he's the man I think that they're most likely to push forward from midfield. Kenny Sanson. Butcher. Gary Stevens. Two forward, Lineker and Beardsley. Looking for Reed. Started the contest in a very attacking role. We've seen him now on uh, both flanks in the first three minutes of the match. Enrique. Cuchufo. Chufo, who's started the match on the right side with Ruggeri going back to where he started the tournament in the middle and now pulling away to the left Chufo Hodges challenge Hodge and Ruggeri is uh, staying with Beardsley if England get possession which they do through Peter Reid Lineker's come away from his man and Ruggeri now picks him up Butcher 
Fennick. Preferred to Alvin Martin after missing the last game because of suspension. Kenny Sanson starts to move forward. Maradona got between the two, but the pass was a rather disappointing one. Huddle Pressurised by two Stevens That's a nicely played off ball But now he's got to get back And maybe a little As well for him That the Argentine pass Was faulty A la Tico Echea Who chased it This is a contest for the most difficult Name to uh, pronounced in this championship he's certainly in with a chance Sansom Reed wants it as ever Lineker is down the middle Hodges cut in leaving a bit of space on the left for Sansom left of Reed now number three Reed has got on nicely done Brown across and committed and won it well to some expense to uh, Peter Reed, it would seem. The uh, ankle hurt him before, the right one. And he got a knock early in the last match against Paraguay. And it's to be hoped that history is not repeating itself. And it is the right ankle that's uh, troubling him again. Valdano back in defence Fennick not a shot to remember seven minutes gone Jimmy Hill obviously not brought back into the team because of his shooting capability but uh, I think that shot demonstrated the mood of both sides they're both very tentative very frightened of each other extremely careful at this stage of the game Nick by Reed. Huddle. Reed. He forgets about the knock very quickly. Enrique. A little change of pace that uh, drew the tackle. And he walked away from it. Butcher. Cachufo and Lineker. Arms akimbo. Beardsley and Ruggeri. And uh, that's the position as far as the marking of the England front two is concerned. Ruchaga, Tufo, Maradona, four England players between him and a possible pass or route to goal. Free kick against Fennick and an immediate yellow card. He committed himself, he was late and the referee decided that he had to make a point. say I'm not sure there was any great need for him to go in as he did by standing there he was forcing the man across and there were others capable of coming in for a later and perhaps rather better time challenge but it's produced a free kick which Maradona may take or Buruchaga Maradona Dilton having to adjust his position and watch with care. Argentine corner on the far side. Well, that's the first we've seen of the little man 
and great player though he is it will be as well if we don't see him too often out by Hoddle it was a poor corner Olatiko well, Echea across and has got away from two far better tackle that time from Fennec Maradona useful cross and a bit of push and shove in the area Ruggeri it was who met the ball with his head but I think he pushed in order to do so and the final verdict is the goal kick so with 10 minutes gone no score one scare one booking against Terry Fennick Batista, Reed was with him. Space on the right for Cuchufo. Olatiko Echea, forward run by Bruchaga. Two waiting in the middle. Chusti and Valdano. Santa meets it after a slight slip. Danny Sansom winning his 70th cap in this contest. One for Beards is a chase for Pim Pumpidu was there and then lost it. England getting men into the middle. What a great attempt by Peter Beardsley. And Pumpidu is a man concerned and a man relieved. Great swivel turn. Had to go for it first time. There were players coming into the middle, but he was surely entitled to go for goal, which he did and was mightily close Enrique Baldano Terry Butcher covering there are people who score goals in football and love it and those who prefer the other arts and crafts of the game and Peter Beardsley showed there with that turn an aim at the goal that he's a man who loves to score goals what an opportunity and he nearly made it count one or two clouds overhead but the temperature down there on the pitch is uh, in the low 80s just a little bit of a breeze too swirling around the stadium but uh, judging from the flags down there the players are not getting too much benefit from that challenge Batista Poruchaga Enrique plays for River Plate Poruchaga plays his football in France or not here's Valdano who plays in Spain but the man from Everton ended all that Gary Stevens.
two teams have in fact met uh, three times since the 66 World Cup when uh, Rackin was sent off just before half time and Jeff Hurst scored the vital goal 12 minutes from the end twice at Wembley once in Buenos Aires two draws and one England victory Ruchaga Stevens giving him a second opportunity Cachupo moving up to the right this is Maradona Stevens faces him so does Steven shot came from Olatico a chair Beardsley trying a very tight turn again and was blocked free kick he's enjoyed every game that he's played his attitude has been typical of what we've seen from England after their unpleasant start Butcher stands and pulls wide to the left square of Butcher now this is Hodge trying to put uh, Brown under a certain amount of pressure but not succeeding and when you think that uh, before the game against Canada the last game before the World Cup this man was in danger of going home and how well he's taken his chance here and he has provided the balance to the England midfield four on the left. It's what we were looking for, really, uh, in all the build-up period to the World Cup. A left-footed player who had the energy to play in all three areas of the field. And uh, he's the man. It's Tuesday for Argentina. Sansom with him. England pushing forward. Uruchaga. Maradona. Butcher up alongside. Conceded the corner. But just stayed up alongside. And what a contrast in physique between the two. And I was just thinking a corner is a victory in that situation because you blunted the first thrust. Maradona you will not be surprised to know has come to take the corner orchestrates everything it's an interesting one too came to a tickle chair and England might benefit from it Lineker pulling away to the right Bridgley in possession Trevor Stephen on the left Huddle coming just behind two players wide on the right Reed wants it in the box was Beardsley but straight at the chest of Brown Maradona Trevor Steven just goal side Valdano beautifully timed tackle by Terry Butcher face on the left for Argentina this is Ola Ticochea Batista behind him all but two behind the ball for England. Enrique. Name of Sansom. So leaving two up. I suppose we're not quite meeting the requirements of Peter Beardsley. Who said we should attack with 10 and defend with 11. Batista. Ball was clean, new one. Huddle. Well, that wasn't a clean challenge. Free kick given against Tuesday. See, that foul was much more premeditated than the one for which Fennick got his name taken. Fennick made a strike for the ball. The skill of Maradona beat him. And he was only fractionally away from it. But that one, the player knew that he was bringing him down. And the referee never even looked for a yellow card. Two in the middle. Offside. Gary Lineker
Argentina quoted this morning as joint second favourites to win the championship of four to one. France the favourites are two to one. England are at nine to two. Jorge Valdano. Jose Luis Cuchufo. And the two not together at all. We're not unsympathetic about the pressure on the referee in this particular game today, but the conversation over the coffee before this morning's game was about the poor quality of the refereeing in this World Cup so far. And I think most journalists from around the world are agreeing on that. Uh, mostly, I think, because they do insist on using the more in inexperienced referees or those from emerging countries in vital games. Maradona. So far, I hope I'm not tempting fate. England have been able to crowd him out. Stephen bids the makes the run. Kachufa goes with him. Lineker makes the run, finds a bit more space, but nobody coming onto the header. Batista. Ruchaga down the middle. Again, good play from Terry Butcher. The choice of Ali Benasser had one game in the uh, league matches. It was a little surprising, but uh, one does feel too that it has a lot to do with the decision of FIFA to have 24 teams in this tournament. That they also feel the same about the referees, the referees from the third world, and. Uh, from South America the Colombian yesterday have been given their chance and he's given Maradona the free kick for nothing if I may say header came from Fennec went across the face but harmless enough Ruchaga making the run in the inside right position and for the first time the England back four were looking at each other for a moment should I say with an element of concern Maradona decides to let somebody else take the throw Olatico Echea and the trust is a disappointment from the little man. And we're halfway through the first half, and neither goalkeeper has really yet had to show what he can do. As a result, there is a blank score sheet. And Bobby Robson, with reason to be quietly confident, as the England team have been from the start. Lineker and the referee was in quickly there to have words with uh, Oscar Ruggieri and waving Buruchaga away Hoddle on the ball hasn't really got into the match yet Sam Hoddle Peter Reed just away to the right of the two Hoddle and Kenny Sanson forward for Lineker and again a slip which England may be able to capitalise on this is Beardsley again the instinct was to go for the shot well I think that's the best instinct that a forward can have the linesman on the far side the Bulgarian has his flag up indicating offside and the alarm so far for Nero Alberto Pompidou of River Plate has been of his own volition.
we have here so far neither the beauty of Guadalajara nor the dross of Monterey it's tight it's tense the fear of making a mistake is evident and I think the mutual respect too is evident Batista Enrique huddle in there quickly and the first little dance Brown who is by no means uh, Daniel Pasolera efficient but not especially gifted <laughs> Lineker moving towards the middle as his club colleague Gary Stevens prepares to wind up for a long throw and Kuruchaka standing on the touchline gives him the opportunity which he does Hodge quickly back certainly has worked up and down this left side in every match that he's played came into the team when things turned against Poland and this is indeed is the same team precisely who played on that occasion Maradona Buruchaga Maradona in the middle so is Valdano away by Kenny Stanson a wide defender coming across to cover across the back behind the central defenders Brown Enrique Valdano Santum Trufo there before Beardsley the drummer with us, though presumably not the Spanish drummer, he would have already made his way to Pueblo, I would think, where Spain and Belgium meet later in the day. Buruchaga hasn't had a particularly good press at home, according to the Argentine journalist here. Possibly because he doesn't play his football in Argentina. looking for some encouraging signs for those of you waiting patiently at home for the games of Spark to Life Glenn Hoddle who made a very shaky and nervous start nothing like his match against Paraguay which was the best game I think I've seen him have for England suddenly got himself into the game in the last attack and there are signs that the Argentine defence can panic if put under pressure that's the good news Trevor Stephen with the cross but it's uh, curled out Well, he doesn't seem to have too much to say, does he, the Argentine drama? Maradona. Good to see him coming as deep as that to collect the ball. Ah, by Peter Reed. Hola, Tico Chair. Look at Peter Reed. Determination and the free kick is now his way. Well, it's not, but surely it should have been. Butcher didn't make it, Valdano. The first half error we've seen from the Ipswich men. Maradona. Interesting challenge from Stephen coming from the other side, but beautiful play by Maradona. Shilton coming for it, and rightly and well. 
referee fell over at the same point, so keen was he to protect the goalkeeper. But there was no nastiness in the challenge, just determination from the goalkeeper. Huddle. It's usually Enrique who seems to come to Huddle. What a marvellous tournament Peter Shilton has had. Reed. Lineker. Hodge wide to the left yet again. But it was Tuesday's header. And the free kick is Argentine's way for put up. Nobody there. Not the best of waves, but uh, they're trying to lift the contest, which is a little door. Where are the personalities here to match what we saw at Guadalajara? Puruchaga. Well, here's one. And on he goes, a little man. Free kick. Just a nudge from Steve Hodge. There it was. And another opportunity for the best player in Argentina perhaps to test the best player in the England team in terms of world class their goalkeeper if there is a concern it is that the Argentine's best player can win a match our best player can only keep the score blank Maradona to take five man England wall going to try and curl it round it and very nearly did but I'm sure and I think rightly that Shilton would claim that he got across let us see would have been tight I think if England are going to win this game that Peter Shilton the captain will have the opportunity to prove that he is the best goalkeeper in the world and I think for the speed he got across that goal and covered the ball he, he was on his way to doing it, but I feel he's got a lot more work yet. Not an easy task for the England team when Maradona gets in possession. It's difficult to know what to do because he is so talented. Uh, it was a pity, of course, that actually Fenwick threw away possession of the ball, which gave Argentina that last attack. And up to now, his distribution has not been up to Alvin Martin's standard, never mind his defensive qualities. Chusti, Ruchaga, hobble quickly in to help out Butcher and to turn defence into attack. Bidley, ball given away again. 14 is Chusti and the free kick against Hodge. And he obviously feels that the Argentine made too much of that. Very upset with the referee's verdict. But again, the ball was given away, and when it was played in from Beardsley to Huddle, the challenge by Huddle was not the most determined you've ever seen. Five Argentines to the left. Maradona goes for goal again, off the wall for the corner. So many of the free kicks in this tournament, we have seen the kicker go for the shot. Not too many have been successful at it. Fifty second cap for Maradona.
numerals of his age the other way around he's 25 which side do you want to go says the linesman I think Maradona might be saying well if you get out of the way it will help he wanted to remove the flag <laughs> nice little cameo between the Costa Rican linesman and the Argentine captain <laughs> but he's tidying the place up I presume the referee is jogging off the time and eventually the corner will be taken cameraman rolls out of the way Chilton comes for the ball it was high on the fingers but well held Stephen Argentina as was said at the start the only surviving team from South America and the five previous tournaments in South America have all been won by a South American team twice by Brazil twice by Uruguay and once by Argentina themselves so that victory the manner of it in particular the success against Peru is this morning put into some question here's Maradona this is a fine run didn't really have the moment to balance himself for the shot and the miss kick came from Hodge and the corner is given Maradona the player who was left out of the squad in 78 from which Minotti found the winning team is certainly their best hope in 1986 Chaga to take Maradona just outside the six yard area on the near post Valdano on the far, Brown is up Ruggeri is up, Butcher was up nine minutes of the first period remaining plus maybe a little bit of time to be added for adjusting the corner flag no score Batista Schusti Uruchaga Maradona Steven chases well claimed well an interesting decision by Terry Fennick he decided not to go across although Stevens was always in the wake of Maradona and indeed at the end of it a copybook cross from a tight position which is a hallmark of his play he really did enough against Uruguay to win the match on his own he laid on enough chances that weren't taken but he's always going to be a threat my disappointment at the moment is England haven't got the rhythm and the balance and the confidence that they showed in their last two matches there's no doubt that nerves have got to them early on to Gary Stevens with one or two wild clearances Terry Fennick not using the ball as well as he's able and Glenn Hoddle really a shadow of what he was in the other match and so they really do need to settle to frighten the Argentinians and get the balance back into the game there are always two sides of an argument and uh, I think the fact that we are now playing a side of infinitely higher class than anything we've met so far has to be taken into consideration as I'm sure you'd agree and in case you've come in and joined us late let me tell you with now six minutes remaining there is still no score in this third of the four quarterfinals England against Argentina just to pick up that point Barry I would say they're higher class in possession but they're not that much better when England have the ball and England are causing their own misgivings and, and downfall at the moment and the neutrals are a little disgruntled two matches that they watched yesterday the Mexicans obviously had huge interest in the happenings of Monterey which ended in disappointment 
and the world watched with a certain amount of awe at the quality at Guadalajara the artistry and the beauty of the game was so well shown there here's Maradona three around him he drew three played it to Cachufo he didn't make the most of the opportunity Maradona went down a little late but I think uh, an example of what can happen Maradona draws players to him he's the honey for the bees and suddenly he proves not to be the queen queen is wide to his right for the shot and Maradona in need of attention well if there's any eagle-eyed viewer at home saw that they did rather better than we did here I saw nothing at that point whether there was the usual tussle between uh, a defender and Maradona where it was six of one and half a dozen now let's have a look here he's running on the left you can see he actually ran into the back of a player who's showing no interest in him whatsoever and feigned the injury to get the sympathy he's the best player in the world and by no means the worst actor by the look of it on that incident you can't foul a man who's behind you <laughs> there he is he's still outstanding and still will need stopping by fair means if England are going to win this match but more than that they've got to start to do their stuff on the ball I wonder whether he understood Terry Fennick's action Hola Ticochea Brown Pumpidu doesn't seem very much of the ball the balance of the play not greatly but slightly in Argentina's favour Batista Santum well, he would know better than anybody else that the side isn't quite ticking as it did in the two previous matches Reed an unpleasing bounce and he was a judge to have handled Aldano is the furthest forward for Argentina referee being very precise as to which blade of grass is the point of the free kick Maradona down the middle cover by Fennick and I think it's fair to say that only Maradona has looked like making a breakthrough he's the only one who's committed people in the last third of the field Burchaga Enrique has gone down this is Maradona they're forcing him across Batista shot blocked by Hoddle wasn't a particularly good shot anyway Butcher had to dig it out a little bit with his right foot put in by Hoddle Maradona very nearly does the splits and it seemed to hurt him Beardsley uh, Lineker rather Batista Schusti Valdano stood in his own half trying the impossible battling by Beardsley Brown gets the ball well Valdano should have played it in the first place Maradona Maradona looked for the whistle didn't get it Sometimes like the English getting men behind the ball. Defenders are winning out. And they didn't all start by playing in the back four. We're into the last minute. England's 49th match during the reign of Bobby Robson is so far not a particularly uplifting occasion prize is greater than the quality of football that we're seeing Tufo 
Ruchaga. Referee had his whistle to his lips immediately. But when he finally gives the verdict, it's in England's favour. What a prime moment this would be to score a goal. First really real chance for Hoddle to pick somebody out. And it would have to be that. Certainly there won't be a shot from here. Five forward for England across the 18-yard uh, line. And we're now playing the time for that uh, corner flag incident. Hoddle forward again for Kenny Stanson. Hodge has got in his way. What a shame. The flag was up for offside, but I suspect it was against Hodge and not against Stanson. And clearly the move was between Hoddle and Stanson. A little chip forward for Stanson to run onto. Hodge moved too soon, got in the way of Stanton's run, which would otherwise have been absolutely clear in on goal. And how pleasant to see a bit of imagination from a free kick coming from England of all, all countries. So there's the end of the first half. I see no reason to believe that it wasn't going to be a tight game today. The other two quarterfinals ended in penalties, and that could well be the case today. Such is the fear, really, of both sides for each other. The midfield hasn't been clear. FIFA appear not to be able to make up their mind. I'm sure viewers will remember just a couple of seasons back it became the practice in the Football League for referees to interpret that kind of offence outside the penalty area as a sending off offence. In fact, they did so at that time. But through the FA, the Football League was stopped from allowing referees to interpret in that fashion. Uh, FIFA said at the start that players were to be sent off but apparently referees are not carrying it out, so it's all a muddle. But let's hope we don't have that same, same kind of situation in the second half. And that those who stand to serve will be saying amen to that, apart from the players that Bobby Robson presumably has already decided will take the penalties should it be required. And as Argentina, the last South American representative in this World Cup to get the second half underway. We have news that the manager of Brazil, Tele Santana, has resigned. I don't think there's too great a surprise in that because they had to persuade him to take the job in the first place. My view is that he's resigned yesterday morning. Brazil might still be in the World Cup competition. Tuesday. Free kick for the push. Yeah, my explanation of that, of course, is that I thought he lost it in the middle of the game in not taking off Socrates, who was as tired as Graham Souness in Scotland's last match. And uh, I think that had an effect. But now back to this action. Diego Maradona. Going to strike another one or he set somebody up. He tries to do the latter. Flag is up on the far side. And England will be able to clear their lines without problem. Peter Shilton inquiring of the linesman just what the verdict is. The flag was up for offside. Jerry thought he'd been fouled, but he hadn't. Here's Peter Reid. Jenny Sampson. The marking is the same, and Catufo got there before Peter Beardsley. Here's Maradona. Good play by Buruchaga, taking them all on. Maradona's behind Stevens. Oh, that was a very concerning moment the ball actually bounced up off the hand of Stephen too get Stephen another free kick for Argentina indirect the hand was up the point was academic Buruchaga and Butcher did well lovely control he had to stretch for that but he managed to get the ball under control
Fennick. Terry Butcher. Jenny Sanson. And who will be the first to gamble? Because somebody surely has to to break the deadlock. Lineker waiting in the middle, so is Beardsley, so is Trevor Stephen. Hodge in possession, Hoddle takes over. Kenny Sanson stayed on side. Five waiting. Beardsley. Gary Stevens with Trevor Stephen to his right. Four waiting for the cross. Brown who got it away. And here's Valdano. Men either way, but he didn't make up his mind sufficiently quickly. Ruchaga. Maradona pulling away to the left. Batista. Olatico Chair, Maradona, Valdano, didn't control it well. More industry from the man from Newcastle, more complaints from the man from Southampton. Peter Reed. Butcher. Thinks about Stephen on the right. Goes instead for the left where he finds Hodge. The wide men have found little space in this contest. It's not true of Ola Tikoche at the moment. But certainly it's been true of the England team. Haven't seen that much of Hodge or Trevor Stephen. Maradona just walk away from Hoddle then. Valdano, Hodge and Maradona! They're appealing for offside. The ball came back off the foot of Steve Hodge. And Maradona gives Argentina the lead. The England players protesting to the referee. But the little man who started it by walking past Glenn Hoddle that's where the ball came from Hodge. Maradona had continued the run forward. And the goal is given. Uh, at what point was he offside? Or was it a use of the hand that England are complaining about? Well, certainly his arm was up. Peter Shilton protested immediately. But the goal stands. seventh minute of the second half Hodge Lineker on the turn Stevens Well, whatever the rights and wrongs of uh, that goal, at the end of the day, perhaps it will release England from their nervous approach to this game. They've got to attack now, and immediately there were signs of positive action and running forward. It seems they have been so inhibited in this game uh, right from the start and not allowing themselves freedom of movement. But they've got a battle on their hands now, and at least the game has come alive, whatever the score. Maradona's second goal in this World Championship he scored the equaliser against Italy Ruggieri the tackle by Butcher Valdano over to the left. 
and the free kick is England's way and many opinions being given around the commentary boxes as to whether or not that was hands and those to our left which is nearer Shilton's goal have little doubt that it was a hand that put the ball past the England goalkeeper Uruchaga Chusti Olatiko Achea will not be able to collect that well, it will certainly be discussed on the bench and I have little doubt that they also feel that it was handball The other point uh, I could offer is that uh, if there is a slight weakness in the England captain's goalkeeping skills, it is that he's not maybe as quick off his line as other goalkeepers uh, tend to do. And uh, that ball was played through to him, but here's Maradona again. He has Borchaga to his left and Valdano to his left. He doesn't, he won't need any of them. Oh, you have to say that's magnificent. There is no debate about that goal. That was just pure football genius. And the crowd in the Azteca Stadium stand to him. Inside one, away from another. And the coolness under pressure to play the ball home with the side of his foot. If the first was illegal, the second was one of the best goals we've seen in this championship. is a very dejected man beaten once unfairly beaten on a second occasion like so many of his colleagues by sheer skill just over 10 minutes of the second half gone and Argentina have a two goal lead and England now have to gamble they've got to give it all Santum. That's a good try. Turned away by Ruggieri. The goals unquestionably have brought the game to life. But they are asking the questions now of what Bobby Robson's men have to offer. They have to throw away any inhibitions and they certainly show plenty of those in the first period first time we've seen Butcher up in the opposition uh, 18 yard area and Cachufo Ruggieri and Lineker and we've seen very little of Gary Lineker in this contest and the referee having sharp words about what seemed to him to be time wasting Tuesday Huddle gets away with uh, the acrobatics. Hodge. Young man in turmoil at the moment, Steve Hodge. Because it was his missed kick which uh, produced the first goal. Albeit for the fact that uh, we believe that Maradona put the ball in with his hand. Butcher
certainly a moment for those who have made their journey out from Britain. There are plenty of Scots who stayed on to watch England after the departure of their own team. It's certainly a moment for them to make themselves heard. Beardsley. He's been tightly marked all the time by Cachufo, but has battled all the way. Whatever the outcome of this contest, it's surely right to say that Beardsley has grown into an international player during this tournament. And that was Hodge and Pumpidu did well to get there and needed to from Argentina's point of view. A flick on and Hodge found a goalkeeper and defender to deny him. Steven to take the corner. England, for their credit, have pressed from the moment of going one behind. When all said and done and we look at our own heroes back home, some of them being sold expensively to Italy, I think in all honesty we can say that there is no light that shines as brightly as Maradona's. He can do it on his own, he can lay on goals for other people, he can take part in interpassing movements, he has fantastic pace when it's necessary and also tremendous strength. He's won a couple of heading competitions uh, already in midfield and that final one, unfair or not, he still read the back pass quicker than Shilton did and it was running away from him, you have to remember, and towards Shilton. Peter Reid was hurt in that challenge, free kick given against Batista. whose name was taken by the referee, Batista. That's his first booking in the championship. Hoddle with the free kick. Brown, did it brush his head or not? Yes, it did, said the linesman. Hoddle coming across to take the corner. And that's Carlos Bilado, the uh, coach of uh, Argentina. And from the other bench, Chris Waddle is warming up for England. Glenn Huddle with the corner. Not a good one. And Huddle really has to get more involved in this match. If England are to save it. Beardsley! Came through the crowd. The sting, I think, was taken off it. But he timed his movement into the area so well, but didn't really get hold of it. And neither almost did the goalkeeper. He saw it very late, it seems. Stevens. Benick and Gary Stevens. Terry Butcher. Reed wants it in midfield. And it would be good to see Terry Butcher with a score at nil two, try to bring the ball forward, but preferably to use it rather better than that. Uruchaga. Fennick. Reed. Sansa wants it on the left side. This is Hoddle. Reed. Beardsley. As always, Cachufo at his back. He's done well. Passes that little bit too high. Oh, I think a chair. And the number being held by the FIFA official down in front of us would seem to indicate that Peter Reid will be the man who England will bring off. Butcher.
Benson. Saldano. Trevor Stevens. His touch has not been what it was against Paraguay or against Poland. Could be said of a number of uh, England players. Certainly he and Hodge have not been the factors that they were in the last two games. And Lineker and Beardsley really have not had the service of those games. England want to make the substitution. Chris Waddle is waiting. The ball is in the crowd. And the announcement of the substitution is made on the public address system. And off comes Peter Reid, who played, I believe, carrying a knock. Played with great determination, but has not been able to find the way for England, who now changed the formation taking off a midfield player, bringing on a forward, a forward who surely has instructions to attack on the flanks, and let us hope he's been told to attack on the flanks in the last third of the field and not from deep inside his own half, which he does far too often. This is Beardsley. Trevor Stephen coming in, that's very well claimed by Pompidou. It was a great catch, as you can see for yourself here. Good cross, too. Stretched him all the way, and he took it well. Only collided with the four, but did the usual roll around for a moment or two just to make sure that we'd all seen the save. And Waddle has taken that position wide on the left, as we thought. Doesn't take a lot of assessing that, but... Uh, I think more than his influence, some of the players are already on the field have got to buckle down now and start to play in this game because we haven't really seen anything like the England performance. And the free kick has been given for the challenge on Maradona, who is claiming he was knocked on his head. But he's the man who has sent us onto the slippery slope. But surely when he scored the first, as he ran onto the ball that was knocked on by the foot of Hodge, it was his hand he used to go past Peter Shield. And there can be no question, it was handball. Peter Shilton immediately protested, but the goal stood. And while you've been looking at that incriminating evidence at home, uh, we also had a chance to look here at that challenge on Maradona. And there's no question about it, he wasn't touched. He is an actor. He's brilliant, but he's an actor too. Uruchaga with a shot. Jimmy's uh, observation will make clear that uh, those pictures of the first goal, which should not have been allowed, were from our own special cameras here. Waddle. Hodgewell forward. And Maradona still in a prostrate position. Have his goals left England similarly placed. We're halfway through the second half and England are two down to Argentina. Contest between two of the previous winners of this cup. Team of 66 for England and of 78 for Argentina. Out by Batista. He's been far more defensive in this match. Waddle. All the left foot. Hoddle. Stevens. Plenty of white shirts forward. Hoddle. Free kick. Verdict given against Tuesday, and back comes Maradona.
and I imagine that he enjoyed the rest. Pompidou checking that the wall is covering the left side of his goal from his point of view. Hoddle poised. Five players coming from the left. Hoddle takes! Good save! Well, that's the best free kick that Glenn Hoddle has hit that I've seen in this championship. It was going in, no question about that. Waddle with the corner. Met by Brown. Only to Waddle. The goalkeeper didn't know where that was. Neither did his defenders. But it was actually a rather disappointing cross because there was nobody there for England. Shilton well out of his goal. And at least England are forcing Argentina back. Butcher. Huddle, Stevens, comes to be seen by Ola Ticochea, I left out half a syllable in his name, but I hope he didn't notice, Then Huddle having a better spell and he desperately needs to do so for his country's future, if not his present. <laughs> Beardsley and Cachufo. And the referee is signaling over this side for Pompidou to get some attention. It's difficult to pass an opinion on the shape of a game where the, it was altered by an unfair decision. Well an unfair decision or non-recognition of that handball. But on the other hand, I think any objective viewer would look at today's game and say that at the moment, Argentina have played with more imagination, they have attacked more and deserve to be in the lead. Maybe not by the two goals, but certainly by one. But England are not out of it yet. They have got the chance to come back, but are searching for just one elusive goal to put respect and fear back into the Argentine team. At the moment, they have no worries because there is a cushion of a two-goal lead. And that is the problem. They've got the fourth to pace. I should be surprised if the game ends at this score because in forcing the pace in what is perhaps the last 20 minutes now, England have got to take risks and push men forward. But there's no doubt about what their aim is. They must commit themselves to that. Baldano, likely to be the furthest forward of the Argentines. And John Barnes, who hasn't previously played in this tournament, looks as though he's going to be given his chance. Gary Stevens. And if he comes on, Bobby Robson will be going back to the style that at one stage he desperately wanted to achieve, playing with two wingers. John Barnes, who last played for Watford on the last game of last season. Hasn't played since. Away by Brown at the expense of a corner. And it'll be interesting to see if he comes on, whether he's played wide or down the middle. Bobby Robinson has never previously used him in the middle. Well, he timed the run well to Terry Fennick, but he couldn't get the header that he required at the end of the run. It's extraordinary that Gary Lineker has hardly had a touch in this game. Uh, he's been so closely marked, he hasn't been able to make an impression on the game at all. And when you hear sums of £5 million mentioned, uh, from possible transfers to Italy and things like that. You wonder how a man you know, with such talent at goal scoring can make no impression in any other way on the game. It certainly couldn't happen to a Maradona. Seems likely that Trevor Stephen will be the man to be replaced. 
Glenn Hoddle. Kenny Sampson. Wobble wide to the left. Four England players in the middle. One of the problems sometimes when uh, Wobble comes on on the left, he restricts the movement forward of Kenny Sampson. Who, when he makes his forward runs, always tends to make them wide. Unlike one or two players we've seen in this tournament who come down the middle. The Brazilian Branco being a prime example. Fennec. And Maradona being left forward. It's got to go back to Peter Shilton. Whistles from the crowd, but it was the only ball on for Fennec. Steven. Lineker starts to come short, then goes. This is Hodge as the sweeper comfortably across. Barnes still waiting. And with a little over a quarter of an hour left, there would seem to be no point in delay. And there is not going to be further delay. Off comes Trevor Stephen. And on into the World Cup for the first time comes Watford John Barnes. He's gone to the left. Waddle has gone to the right. And England are playing two in midfield. Hodge and Hoddle. Sanson. Butcher. Valdano. Batista. Brown. And anyway, we'll do clearance, but so was Phoenix. If we don't get hold of the ball, we can do nothing with it. Free kick has been given. Fifteen minutes remaining. Argentina two, England nil. They've only once previously beaten us, and that was in June 1964 in the Brazilian Jubilee Tournament in Rio and they won by the only goal and Argentina are bringing off Boruchaga and another new man gets into the World Cup because he's going to be replaced by Marcelo Robiani no he's going to be replaced by Marcelo uh, Tapia and uh, having suggested two surnames let's get the right Christian name on the field is number 20 Carlos Tapia and he played once before Beardley free kick against his marker Cuchufo Tapia's uh, previous appearance was in the opening game against South Korea when he came on as a substitute. Waddle to take. Brown starts to make a run. So does Hodge. They all go back. Waddle is the nearest. There's an awful lot of movement from England players. Fennick at the back. Hodge even further back. And Butcher's header straight into the hands of Pumpido. All sorts of movements then from the England players. Fennick, Hodge, Butcher but straight to the advanced goalkeeper. England ball. Butcher. Four up for England, Sanson in possession. Valdano sitting it out. The referee unimpressed. Tells him to get up. Oddle forward of the ball. And the free kick has been given for the challenge on Kenny Sanson. And Maradona delaying things by getting involved. As with his team, there are certainly two sides of his character. Enrique got away with throwing the ball away. And there's quite a delay before this free kick is taken. Hoddle will take it. 
Butcher, Stevens, Waddle and Lineker to come on the near side as we look. And the Argentines move up en masse. And the England players are all caught offside. From where is the inspiration to come? Not an easy position to be in against such a determined Argentine side. I don't know what uh, Bobby Robson will be thinking at this moment, just praying for help from somewhere. The pity is, of course, that his team has not really played in this game as they have done in others. It is true the opposition are that much more difficult, but on the other hand, just to throw the ball away, as has happened so often, uh, when not under pressure, has not been typical of their last two games, and it's put them really in the trouble that they're in. I think it is also true to say that uh, observers of world football would have suggested at the start of this tournament that for England to reach the quarterfinals was achievement for the team that came here. Hodge trying to get forward onto that from Beardsley's little thick. The free kick has been given. A little over 10 minutes left. Butcher is forward, just out of uh, picture as we look. And he's the widest player from the uh, view of the kicker. <coughs> Hodge, Waddle, Fennick, Butcher, Lineker. Fennick is the first to go. Kemp's Brown, the back man. Hoddle and Barnes together. And Barnes just runs over it. And Hoddle doesn't find him. Oh dear. I suppose that's the reason that players don't often show imagination from free kicks because when they don't work, they get the derision of the crowd. Uh, it was an attempt at least to be positive and slip somebody through the block. Here's Fennick. Stevens, Fennick is still forward. This is John Barnes. Away by Ruggeri. Only to Kenny Sanson. To Hodge, appeals for offside. He wasn't. This is John Barnes. That's nicely done. That's a good cross. They're queuing up Lineker! Nine minutes left. And English hopes are rekindled. And John Barnes, who has had to stay for so long as a spectator, did what we know he can do. Got to the byline. A lovely cross. And Lineker gets goal number six in this competition. But more importantly than that statistic, he gives England a chance of saving the day. There were players queuing then for that cross. So beautifully played it was. Here's Maradona for his spin turn. Back from Tapia and back again. Sanson's challenge. Tapia off the post. The gods were on our side there, all right. Great spin turn by Maradona. And John Barnes was back in defence to bring it out again. And on the other flank, here is Chris Waddle. If it is to be the end, it's going to be a stirring finish from England. Flag is up for offside. And that goal for Gary Lineker means that he has now scored more goals in World Cup football than any other Englishman. For this match, he stood level on five with Jeff Hurst. Hurst goals coming in two competitions. Now he's passed that, as well as having reached the position of being England's top scorer in one tournament. And one more from inside the six-yard box. But if you produce a cross like that, Jimmy, you want somebody to put it in the net. Valdano and Sansom. Good 
Good noise from English supporters away to our right, but Maradona in possession. And they can only watch and hope. Just under seven minutes on our clock. Maradona taking a few more seconds and that's all he's trying to do down there. But if the referee and his linesman had had better eyesight, the goal score would now be one all. Batista. Enrique. Lineker. Beautifully played off. Great save. But it was a good challenge. Boy. Hola Ticochea. And how interesting. The crowd suddenly have changed their allegiance. They've come on England's side. Butcher. Stevens. Waddle on this side, Hoddle in possession, Barnes on the far side, three other players in attacking positions between the two. One is Lineker, well up by Ruggeri, Valdano, playing the head tennis. Good way to pass out by Brown, to Chusti, to Valdano, taking on Fenix. What will the referee do? He gets away with it, Fenix. You see, there is no consistency in the refereeing in this World Cup. He should have sent Fenix off there, having taken his name for the first tackle. No question in my mind, it was a, a hasty name take early on. But there was also no question in my mind and yours, as you look at this, that he was deliberately and cynically brought down the sort of thing that we are crying out to have eliminated from the game of football. And yet the referee made, well, what kind of decision? Political, uh, used his discretion, did what? Didn't do the obvious thing that millions of viewers throughout the world would want to see done, even though it is an English player. I've had a number of queries, Jimmy, as to what cynical actually means. And we define it as premeditated without consideration for either the laws or the spirit of the game. Maradona from an interesting angle. Stevens is the man on the wall nearest us. And he will have to stand firm. Batista and Valdano in the area. Five minutes left. England one, Argentina two. <laughs> Gary Stevens. Butcher. Hoddle. Barnes on the left touch line. That's a useful looking ball. Rives at Sanson's feet. I think he took his eye off it for just a moment because he thought that Ruggeri was going to cut it out. The best pass that Huddle's made in this match. Sansom. England again with plenty of men forward. Butcher is one of them. Fennick is the back man. Shilton standing on the edge of his area. Waddle. And again. But he ran into the crowd and lacked the vision. Maradona, fine challenge by Hodge. This is Beardsley, two to his left. One is John Barnes. And every Englishman surely will be saying, go on, run at them. The good cross, yes, no! Lineker just could not get to it. Corner given, centimeters away. And Lineker fell awkwardly on that injured wrist. What a peach of a cross. And it was the defender who got there first with the back of the head to turn it away for the corner. Marvellous stuff from John Barnes. Hoddles to take the corner. Massive white shirts again. Butcher. Just couldn't find the extra couple of inches. Or oh, to tell the truth, he jumped too soon. 
And Lineker feeling the effects of the attempt, which was not successful. Stadium clock says 43 minutes and 10 seconds gone. And listen to the cries. I hope you can hear them of England, England. Barnes once more. Go kick. More than one Watford supporter will be saying, why didn't John Barnes have a chance before to show what he can do? Uh, he certainly was successful in the tour last year when England came out uh, against Brazil. His dribbling seemed to work and he seemed to like the conditions. But up to now, he's been a card that Bobby Robson's kept up his sleeve. That will be a talking point at the end of the World Cup for sure. On by Sanson. Barnes again. We're moving into the last minute of the match. Sanson again. Only to Cucufo. Maradona. Butcher just waved a foot at it and the foot was high and the free kick is given. And some more seconds are saved by Argentina. Whistles because of the amount of time that Argentina are taking. We're into the last 30 seconds of this quarter-final. Of what will the referee allow for time-wasting? Valdano and Butcher. Powerful header from Butcher. But an Argentine throw. 45 minutes are up. Whistles from the crowd. Fennick. Gary Stevens. Puzzle. Batista. Argentina just keeping possession. Maradona. To Enrique. England have got to win the ball and get it up the other end. And Enrique goes for the corner. <laughs> Would the French or the Brazilians do that? But he's come out of the corner in fairness to him. Waddle. Give it to Shilton. It needs the long kick. The referee looks at his watch. England all moving forward. Ruggieri looking for the header. Finds it. Waddle. No time to think. The throw has to be taken. Stevens. But the whistle goes, and England are out of the World Cup. A stirring end to their attempt. But they lose by 2-1 to Argentina. And Bobby Robson goes disconsolately away. In the end, he ended with a team which in his heart, he always wanted to play with two wingers. John Barnes turned it on for him produced the cross from which Lineker scored the goal which got us back into the game and produced another cross from which Lineker so nearly squared it at 2-all.